Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and take another second and smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. This past weekend was crazy. I've spent so much time thinking about the event that happened on Saturday. I wasted my whole weekend. I got a lot done, but emotionally, and mentally, I was distracted the whole weekend. There's been property line issues up at my off-the-grid cottage. I've mentioned it before on my YouTube channel. And the woman who lives up there full-time decided to have it out with me. And that didn't go over well with me. I started yelling back. Well, I shouldn't say start yelling back. I was very, very assertive. And I did raise my voice, but I didn't freak out. I just want to let you be aware of that. I didn't lose my mind, but she was going nuts. And I couldn't believe what was going on. She was telling me that I don't want to talk to you on and on. And you have to, you had to be there. You had to be there. The reason she got upset basically is because I told her her survey was not uh, accurate. It wasn't a good survey. So she went ballistic on me and, you know, it was just crazy. And the whole event troubled me. And I've been in sobriety for a long time. I've been in sobriety for many decades. But let me tell you something. The monkeys ran the zoo on the weekend. My head was just spinning. My emotions were out of control. I couldn't sleep. I felt very bad about this this event, the way I behaved. You know, it was a total negative experience for me. Totally. I felt, you know, I have a number of years of sobriety and this stuff is still happening to me and I'm still not reacting properly to these situations that I should by be now by by now be able to handle these things like walk in peace my child it is okay everything will work out like i feel i should be like gandhi or something or jesus or something you know uh, with with a lot of years of sobriety and the things that i've taken you know therapy and counseling and spirituality and the steps and you name it all this stuff i've done i thought i'd be able to handle things better but i didn't handle it that well and i spent the weekend pounding on myself i spent the weekend feeling like i'll never get better things are lousy sobriety is not worth it and all this kind of negative stuff that happened to me because i felt i let myself down when it came to my behavior and that's the more of the story right we let ourselves down the war in sobriety is not about other people it's about ourselves the way we treat ourselves the way we handle situations we're always trying to improve ourselves and be a better person that's for sure but sometimes we can't we're not perfect just by being human, we are flawed. We are going to make mistakes in our sobriety. We are going to maybe have arguments, do things at work, maybe be fired from a job, maybe get in a car accident. Whatever it may be that negative, negatively happens to you in your life, it's not because of your sobriety or something you've done, it's because it's just life on life terms. And life on life terms can be very difficult. It can be very difficult for an alcoholic to accept our inadequacies because we've been so hard on ourselves in our drinking lives. We have let down so many people in our drinking careers and we've caused so much havoc. When something happens to us in our recovery life, it brings us back there thinking the whole thing's going to crap and the whole thing is is not going to work out and all this sobriety is not worth it. Well, let me, I'll let you on in on a little secret. Life sometimes just plain old sucks. It just sucks. It's not good and it stays not good for a little while, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, we have to drink over it or we have to do something dramatic or big to change our lives. For me, I stay the status quo. I go to meetings, I talk to sponsors, I talk to sponsees, I do everything that I did at the very beginning of my sobriety and it pulls me through the bad times and it keeps me balanced in the good times. Life is hard and sometimes being in sobriety, we feel the sting greater. We feel the impact of our behavior greater because we're trying to be better people. We're trying to be this thing that is really difficult for us to obtain. And that is perfection. And we'll never be perfect. We'll never. We'll learn from our mistakes. It builds better awareness and gives us a better opportunity to step back, 
take a breather, see the way things really are and the way we're handling it and the way that we it's affecting us is the biggest gain, the biggest, biggest takeaway that you can ever take away from a negative experience. If we stay wallowing in it, feel like we're a victim or we're not doing that well, we don't learn from that. We don't learn from that. It keeps us in an emotional state and it distracts us from the actual problem. But the actual problem is the property line in these people. So I've taken steps in the last 12 hours or 24 hours to do something about this situation that I cannot correct. We've done everything we can to correct it. My sweetheart Brenda and I have done everything that we can correct it, but these people will not let up. They are relentless. It's, it's nuts. They're arguing over like six inches, 12 inches of property, and they can't even prove it. They're just taking it and uh, it's nuts. I don't want to get into it, but it's insanity run wild. It really, really is. The monkeys are running the zoo. The monkeys are running the zoo and they're out in full, full, full craziness. <laughs> so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. No one's perfect. We do our best we can one day at a time with what we have to work with. But I need to take responsibility for my part in the situation. And maybe one day I will make amends to these people. But for now, I'm just going to stay back and do something about the situation and get this problem fixed. Because it's been going on for quite a long time now. Quite a long time. And it's affecting the joy of our cottage. It really, really is. Okay? So thanks a lot for letting me rant or telling you about my life in general. But I didn't drink. I didn't you know, go crazy or whatever. Nobody got hurt, including myself. And there's an opportunity for some growth here and there's an opportunity to fix the situation, but it will be fixed one way or another. I have learned my lesson and this situation will be fixed 100%, okay? Thank you very much for stopping by. This is an, al an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Just remember, we can get sober together. Together we are strong. Together we are strong. Together we can stay sober. So that's all I like to say, folks. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel. And if you can, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next week.